Are you pulling your hair out trying to get PPE right for your program? Get it wrong and somebody's definitely going to complain. I'm going to show you how with these illustrated files how easy it is to layer PPE on and off without any illustration skills. So you need to have glasses on, hard hat on for your program, no glasses, the combinations, vests, long sleeve, short sleeve. We're going to get out there and do it. Let's go. Check the show notes for a link to the free source file. In the eLearning Art Library, I'm going to go to our workwear collection to find the character that I want, then choose a good preset pose. You'll see that if you have a file that's set up for PPE, it's really easy to work with. I like this happy pose, so I'll download it as an SVG. Now that I've downloaded the SVG, I'm going to show you some of the magic behind it. I can insert it into PowerPoint, um, but you can use any program. I'm just going to drag and drop it from the Chrome download bar, and you can really insert it using any method. So there we go. There's our character. Let me go full screen so we can see this a little bit better. And the first thing I'm going to do is open the selection pane. So we'll go to uh, arrange or select selection pane, and that's going to show me all the objects on the screen, which is helpful. So now I'm going to, let's put it a little bit more centered. I'm going to unlock the power, and this is going to blow your mind. <laughs> right click, group, ungroup, and I'm going to click yes. And you'll see it's giving me all the shapes that make this up. So we'll be able to, since we set up the file, um, easily remove things. So I'm going to figure out which level I would like this to be at on an ungrouping standpoint. I kind of like that the hat is all going to be together. Great. So it looks like the selection panel let me, right now what I'm doing is hiding. Um, so I could just get in there and let me control Z to get back to where I was. There we go. So here's where we were. Um, and this hard hat, I like having it all as one group. So you'll see all of these different shapes make up that hard hat. I could just start going in here and deleting things if I knew that's what I wanted to do, or I could hide it. Um, so right now I could just hit the delete button, right? Underneath the hat is hair and a head. Amazing, right? Uh, glasses, I could drag them off. Um, if I were to ungroup one more level, sometimes that's useful, but you'll see like these glasses are actually part frame and then part glass. Um, and so having it grouped together is uh, is a useful thing. So let's just go in here and we'll use the hiding method. So um, if, for example, this guy shouldn't have a, uh, a vest on in the selection pane, I can find that element. Here it is. If I hide this, my guess is that his body is underneath it. Yep. So the highest, whatever's on top is going to be like the, the highest layer. So, yep, it's the stripes on there and then the rest of the vest. Boom. Those are hidden. And so I might, I might want to name those. Um, and the hard hat I might want to name as hard hat. Just makes things easier when I'm working with it. But all of these elements now can be kind of toggled on, toggled off as I'm finding them in the selection pane. So let's hide that and that. Same thing on the gloves front. Let's find where his gloves are. Kind of scroll. I'm using my scroll um, on my mouse. And again, if I hide this whole thing, it's going to hide his whole hand. The reason they're grouped together is that way we can actually we can actually bend things. But I'd probably want to group it first to create new poses, pretty amazing. I'm going to control Z to get back to where I was. Let's go ahead and get into this glove and let's hide the stripe that was on there for the hands and the other one. Cool. Um, so the other really nifty thing is these are all shapes in PowerPoint. And if this is already blowing your mind, just take a second and please like the video, but I'm gonna show you some more. All of these are shapes, so you can actually recolor the uniform. And I have another tutorial on how to recolor and strategies around that, but I just wanted to show you that if your color was great, this green, you could do that uh, and you can recolor it. So that's pretty cool. The bending at the joint can happen. Um, we have set these up so that every element, every joint can be bent, legs, Right, so that, that's gonna let you be able to bend it to create new poses. And I have another tutorial on that that'll link to um, as well. So that's pretty nifty. Let's say we wanted to get to short sleeves. That's totally possible too. The way that we've set up these files underneath, I'm just gonna delete this, although I could hide it. I'm going to delete and then I'm gonna delete that. And now I could go in here and I'll have another tutorial on this as well, but you go to shape format and you can actually edit the shape, edit the points. 
And so I can bring this sleeve up. to be more like short sleeve. I might tweak that a little bit more, but pretty neat. Um, the other thing that's going on here is that all of this PPE and the outfits are set up across characters that have been rigged in the same way. So you can, for example, if you needed a business character, um, you could drop the hard hat. Oh, let me ungroup that. Control Shift G to ungroup it. Um, this business character, we just layered on the glasses and the hard hat from the other character. We just moved it right on over. Um, here we rotated the hard hat and put it in his hand. This is a business casual character um, as well. So uh, across characters, you're able to move your PPE as well. Going back in here, right, like you can make this uniform look exactly like your uniform looks. So, oh, this shouldn't have a pocket on it. And actually, so let's just say it's going to be a short sleeve. Let me just, I'm just deleting these. Um, short sleeve, no gloves. Let me, and we actually want it to be more like a, not a collared shirt. Oh, but it shouldn't be a V-neck. No problem. Shape format, edit shape, edit points. We'll right click onto this. We'll say, make that a smooth point, And then make that, drag the handle so that it's nice and even. Um, so I could tweak that even more, but you'll see how quickly you can get this to match your own uniform. And PPE is such a hassle trying to get it right um, because your program is going to have specific requirements and the mixing and matching of these is impossible. It should This guy should have glasses and the ear, um, the ear things, but no hard hat, or maybe he should have a hard hat. What I'm trying to do, oh, I'm going to, with control, I'm going to mouse, use my mouse scroller to get in closer. What I'm trying to click on is that element to get rid of the ear. Uh, protection. And so I already have a, a, a nice new looking uniform. Let's go ahead and the other thing I can do is I can delete points. So I'll delete that one and I'll delete, I'll just move that up and that up and then here. All right. Looking good. So I could recolor that, recolor the pants, make it look however I wanted to. Well, now that I've got the character that I want, I actually want to save it out. So that what I want to do is select this whole area by dragging the mouse. I'm going to go ahead and group this image. And now I can save it. So if I'm trying to get it in a storyline, I might want it either as an SVG or a PNG. I'll right click. I will say save as picture. And you'll see it gives me the option to either do the PNG and that will maintain the transparency so you can drop it on any background or SVG, which will leave it in an editable format and it will also be vector so you can scale it to any size. Depends on what program and what your use is. I would also keep this source file in the same folder as your e-learning program um, so that you can go back and make more modifications. Sign up for my free custom e-learning graphics mini course to build your skills. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get more content like this.